Okay, maestro. First of all, great to see you here again. Me too, very happy to be here at the 10th yeah, edition. Very special. Anniversary. Reading your biography, it's, uh, I mean, first of all, it's very impressive. And, but uh, some things are really interesting for me. Uh, tell us about your conducting career. Uh -huh. It's written that you're a guitarist, you're a composer, and yeah. you all heard it, but you're also a conductor. Yeah. So, how did it happen? Well, mainly, you know, I, I always wanted to be this kind of uh, antique musicians where, you know, in the Baroque time or even the Romantic yeah, yeah. until the 19th century. Uh, the performer was the conductor, the conductor was the composer, and I always, you know, was a big inspiration for me. In, even in the 20th century, people like uh, Leonard Bernstein, yeah. career was a great inspiration for me to follow. So when I had this chance to conduct Paco de Lucia for first time in Japan for his Aranjuez debut, I sort of, uh, you know, felt that I had something really connected with the orchestra from that time. So then I created my own group, my own chamber my group, La Maestranza, that I conduct very often. And uh, since I have, I mean, also I conducted several orchestras here in Russia. And long, Where? long Where? time ago, Voronezh. Ah, Voronezh. Yeah, I conducted this uh, gala festival where everybody played guitar concertos. So I was, you know, in charge of the orchestra, mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, the amount of knowledge you can get from the conducting, from the conducting world, it's great if you can put it in the guitar. Yeah, but how how did it start? I mean, did you study conducting? I started conducting in Sevilla Conservatory mm -hmm. when I finished my guitar studies, uh -huh. chamber music. And after that, you... after that, I began to take classes of uh, conducting with the Chelevidaki student. Mm -hmm. and also with um, Igor Markevich, a student mm -hmm. in Sevilla. And uh, I began to discover a completely new world for me. feeling of uh, conducting the, or the orchestra with uh, Paco Lucia as a soloist. Wow, it's a very impressive thing. But uh, it was probably one of the greatest experiences all over my life. Not only just conducting him, just the whole process of teaching him. I mean, I, mean, I am very uh, humble to say teaching Paco de Lucia, but somebody had to do it, you know, <laughs> because he didn't know how to read music. He didn't know yeah. how to relate with Rodrigo's music. Yeah. So I was so lucky to be there to coach him and also to be his coach with an orchestra. Because you can't, you couldn't tell him bar number 19 or to the B or to the A. I needed to take the guitar with me and say, here Paco, here we go. And so it was the, the, the great, one of the greatest springs of my life. I have the baton on the music stand, the score and uh, Bench for the guitar, so I could manage everything together. Yeah, but uh, I also know that Paco was uh, kind of studying and quest with uh, with uh, Chick Corea. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's on a, in a movie. Uh huh. There is a I think it's latest uh, movie about Paco. Uh huh. Uh, oh, you mean where he was he was still alive, and he uh, there was a filming like uh, they, he studies with uh, Chick Corea. Yeah, well, they were because I think this was after uh, the, after 1990. Probably they were sharing some experiences. Since uh -huh. also Chick Corea made this space, yeah, Spain, thing. Yeah. so they were like you know gaming with the second movement. But uh, after this experience, he never played it again. He was so it was so difficult for him to well, play this repertoire that he decided not to play it anymore. So how, how, how many times did he play it, please? Uh, 11, 12. 11, 12? And first time was with you? 11, the, 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 the whole tour was with me. Ah, it was a it, complete it was tour? A complete tour for one month, only in Japan. Only in Japan, and then, then you, you were a conductor? Yeah. Oh. So the whole month with him, and you know, as I told you, I, I learned uh, since I have to teach him the legacy I got 
mm -hmm. back. It was super. For that, I think in the Arahuez, uh, I'm very connected with that repertoire because I know I, I, I had to play, I had to teach, and I have to conduct yeah. the piece. So the amount of information I have. So maybe the music. one thing left to play uh, all the instruments, all the instruments in the orchestra as well. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Uh, do you play any other instruments or...? A little bit of piano, Yeah, but not anymore. Another question is, uh, we almost uh, asked it uh, to everyone, uh, what the classical guitar is? I'd like to name the guitar, at least in my case. Uh, I don't like to name her uh, classical guitar. I like to name Spanish guitar. Because for me, the guitar is like a big combination of different guitars. In my case, my guitar is a little bit flamenco guitar and a little bit classical guitar. For that, it's difficult to me to relate to the guitar as a classical instrument, since my flamenco heritage, yeah. you know, is all the way pushy. Yeah, but inspiration. still you uh, make an inspiration of the yeah. flamenco and classical, you understand that yeah. your... But I play this kind of guitar. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, your, uh, your art is a combination. Yeah. So you know what, is, what the classical guitar is. Yeah. Well, the classical guitar is a support instrument with a fantastic feature. It's a very jump instrument, consider other instruments. So we are still in our way to make the evolution. You know, I mean, I don't know any violin that is different than the last five centuries or three centuries violin. Every guitar is different in itself. So every guitar maker is trying to make a new instrument every time. Mm -hmm. So the same with us. We try to make new evolution, new uh, aspects of technique. But I think it's like a little teenager still. It needs some time to mature. If you would would be asked to to do advertisement on the TV to attract wide audience mm -hmm. to the classical music and of course to uh, classical guitar, mm -hmm. uh, what do you think is important to put it in, with, with, which would work to the really large audience watching the TV, like main channel? I think one point that sometimes we forget is just the relationship with rhythm. People, it's very easy to attract when you give them the first element in music. For that, they are so attracted to flamenco, to pop music, to any kind of um, folk music, because the rhythm is always there. Sometimes we forget about the rhythm to pursue other concepts, like quality of the sound, like purity of the sound, the cleanness of the sound, but I think that the classical guitar could be a more popular instrument if you make a very good contribution of the rhythm in every single piece you play. It's my opinion. Like in Torija uh, by uh, Roma. Whatever you play. No, no, I mean. Like, uh, I mean, Torija is a very free piece. Yes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick that piece for okay, the organ, good. You know yeah, 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 so which piece uh, would you pick? Probably you would play some Falla or some Rodrigo or my compositions. No, it's just, uh, can, so can you name uh, what Rodrigo, uh, what Falla, uh, what is yours? Uh, my composition, I don't know, Fuego, mm -hmm. any part of Noche de San Lorenzo. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're going to hear it tomorrow at the Gala concert. At the Gala concert. Any, um, Virtuoso studies that I am just finishing writing, you know, something that makes people attract yeah. to an excitement. So you think uh, the most attractive thing in the music to a large audience is the rhythm? Yeah, rhythm and continuity of touch, in my opinion. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Also, it's possible.
продолжаем задавать нашим гостям интересные нам вопросы. Это что такое классическая гитара и как популяризировать этот инструмент в широких массах. Двигаясь в этом направлении, рано или поздно мы все-таки снимем этот ролик. Останется дело за малым. Просто запустите его на первом канале и будет нам счастье. Увидимся пока.